Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an interesting geometrically displaced reflection effect for your videos. So to create this effect, we're going to be combining some title tools, some keying, and some transformational effects. So let's start by choosing a good clip for this effect. In order to have an interesting geometrically displaced final result, you want to have something with a imaginary line of reflection. So horizons, cityscapes, oceans, sunsets, those will all work pretty cool for this effect, but the experimentation is up to you. Once you have your video clip selected, what we're going to do is actually duplicate it onto another track right above itself. So I like just holding Alt or Option and clicking and dragging it up, but you can right click, copy and paste, or Command C, Command V onto track two. So now that we have two of them duplicated on top of each other, we need to create a shape for us to use. So if we go to the title new title tool and select default still, we can open up the title tools menu and here you can select from a variety of preset shapes like squares, circles, ovals, and all that. So let's select a circle in this case, the ellipse tool. And if I hold shift while I'm dragging it out, it'll constrain proportions to be a perfect circle. So I can make it just about as large as I want. And keep in mind, I'm doing this all in Premiere, but if you wanted to open up Photoshop, you could go to file, new Photoshop file and create whatever custom shape or text that you want to use for this. So I'm just going to use this circle and I'll place it right about where I want. You can use these markers to help align things to the center. And once you're ready, take the title that was created in your project menu and click and drag it on top of your two clips. So now we have a stack of three different clips. Now we need to add a transformational effect onto our second clip. So if we go to the effects menu and search for one called flip, you can find a vertical flip or a horizontal flip depending on which axis you want to reflect upon. So I'll choose vertical flip and I'll apply it onto this Manhattan clip. Next, I'm going to search for an effect called track matte key. So this should be under the video keying effects. I'll click and also drag that onto the duplicated clip. Now you want to choose the matte to be video track three or whatever track your title clip is on if you had more underneath. So you can see what happens is it places the clip within that circle. And now lastly, we just need to adjust some positional things and add a little bit of masking and feathering to the title. So if we click the title, let's head over to the opacity section in the effect controls menu and select the four point polygon mask. This is going to create a four point mask in the middle. If you head over to the program window, you can see the little boundaries and let's stretch it out so that the top of the circle is still visible and let's make a straight line about where we want it to start cutting off. So this looks about right for me. And then we just want to take that feather and ramp it up so that it's a lot more smooth. Be careful not to cut off the other edges. If you need to go back on the mask, just highlight it and make sure you extend things out enough so that you have enough room to work. But you can see what this does when we add the feather is it really smooths out so there's a cool smooth blend of the reflection and it doesn't look like a harsh line. This is what gives it a cool illusion. But lastly, we just want to adjust the positioning of this so that it matches up the best it can be for your specific clip. So in the effect control panel, you can adjust two things. If you adjust the position of the actual circle shape or title up or down with the Y control, you'll see that it doesn't move the clip underneath. It just moves the circle, which is kind of like the mask. So that's useful. I can bring it up here. It looks a lot better in my opinion. And you can also adjust the position of the clip. So if I'm on the flipped clip and I adjust the positioning of that, you see that the whole thing kind of moves. So you can combine those two and adjust it until things are exactly where you want them to be. And you can also move things horizontally, whatever you want. I'm keeping it symmetrical in this case. So that was just an example of circle. You see that I also made one here with a square, same exact thing. The title was just a big rectangle and I did the same exact process, found an interesting placement. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do this. So that's a square and a circle, very basic, but experiment with it more. You could do this with text. You can do this with different fonts. You can even open up Photoshop and create your custom shapes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. Also, you can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to stay tuned with what I'm doing. Reach out to me and more. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
and I'll see you next time.